His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of Eid Al Adha. His Royal Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty the King and wished him good health and happiness. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness congratulating him on the occasion of Eid Al Adha and wished him good health and happiness. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty and His Highness exchanged congratulations and good wishes marking the occasion of Eid Al Adha, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the two countries and their peoples with further progress and prosperity. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty the Sultan of Amman Haytham bin Tariq. Their Majesties exchanged congratulations and good wishes, marking the occasion of Eid Al Adha, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the two peoples and countries with further progress and prosperity. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. During the call, they exchanged congratulations and good wishes, marking the occasion of Eid Al Adha, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the two peoples and countries with more progress and prosperity. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mash'al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. They exchanged congratulations and good wishes, marking the occasion of Eid Al Adha, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the two countries and their peoples with further progress and prosperity. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan. During the call, both leaders exchanged congratulations and good wishes, marking the occasion of Eid Al Adha, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the two peoples and countries with further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of congratulations with the GCC Arab and Islamic nations leaders on the occasion of Eid Al Adha. His Majesty wished the leaders good health and happiness, many happy returns on the occasion, and further progress and prosperity to their countries and peoples. The leaders also congratulated His Majesty the King on the occasion, wishing him good health, happiness, and many happy returns, and wished Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a royal decree granting a special pardon and releasing of 545 inmates sentenced in various cases after they had served a period of their sentences issued against them. The royal pardon comes on the occasion of Eid Al Adha and based on His Majesty's keenness to provide those included in the pardon with the opportunity to integrate them into society and participate in the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty, which has achieved growth, progress and prosperity for the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged greetings with Their Majesties, Highnesses and Excellencies, the leaders of the GCC Arab and Islamic countries, Crown Princes and Heads of Government on the occasion of Eid Al Adha. The head of Bahrain Hajj Mission, Sheikh Adnan Al-Ghattan, affirmed the completion of the dispatch of the Kingdom's pilgrims to Arafat to perform the greatest pillar of Hajj, noting that the dispatch process proceeded in an orderly and smooth manner in an atmosphere full of faith and tranquility. He praised the great effort of Saudi Arabia in organizing the movement of groups of pilgrims amid an integrated and advanced system of services. Al-Ghattan said that pilgrims from the Bahraini campaigns began arriving at Arafat, where they were received by the mission committees, expressing deep appreciation to the nation's soldiers who stayed up in the service of pilgrims with all dedication and sincerity. He stated that the mission with all its committees is beginning its preparations to organize the movement of Bahraini pilgrims from the camps to Muzdalifa in cooperation with the Bahraini campaigns. The pilgrims stand at Arafat with hearts responding to prayers, praying to Allah the Almighty to bestow upon them forgiveness and mercy. Pilgrims perform their Dhuhr and Asr prayers in Nimra Mosque, following the example of the Prophet, peace be upon him. By sunset, crowds of pilgrims begin their journey to Muzdalifa, where they pray the Maghrib and Asha prayers and spend the night there until dawn, the 10th of the month of the Hijjah. Yeah, 
The day of Arafah is considered one of the best days for Muslims. It includes the most important pillar of Hajj, which is standing on Mount Arafat. The day is an opportunity to get closer to Allah through supplication, prayer, and good deeds. It is an image of Muslim solidarity and an opportunity for tolerance, forgiveness, and cooperation. Water spray fans and water mist columns are spread throughout Arafat with the aim of cooling the hot weather for pilgrims who are performing the greatest pillar of Hajj. Mist fans are used only in open areas such as courtyards in order to cool the air there and they contribute to reducing the temperature from 5 to 7 degrees in addition to suppressing dust.